Thank you for attending our launch. I look forward to seeing you all at our Indian Film Festival of Melbourne that starts from 11th August. And don't forget to like Biscuit Showtimes. My team and me are very, very excited to present the 2016 program to you this year. Uh, so without much ado, we'll start. Um, as you can see, this is our key art. And like CG said, that this year the theme of the festival is women empowerment. So it's pretty much about all of us sitting here. <laughs> so, no, but like always, the festival has something for everyone. Um, so the dates of the festival is from 11th to 21st of August. Our opening night film is the beautiful film directed by Nina Yadav called Parched. Parched is set in a small village and it depicts the gender inequality that still exists in India. Maybe we don't see it in the cities, but that is very, very prevalent in the villages and small towns. But it's a beautiful film because it's a film about human spirit beyond everything else. And uh, the director, Radhika, uh, sorry, the director, Nina Yadav, and Radhika Apte will be in attendance on the opening night and will do a Q&A after the screening of the film. On the 12th of August, we have our absolutely spectacular, at least that's what we think, uh, Best Pack If of Awards Night. This year we are holding it at the Melbourne Recital Center. And we also going with the theme, keeping with the theme of the festival, it's the Empowerment Concert. We have singers from India and Pakistan who are coming down and will be performing along with local talent based in Melbourne. We have um, Sarah Heather from Pakistan, who's a beautiful, stunning, upcoming singer, and uh, Anushka Manchanda and uh, Shalmani Golpade, who will be singing at this event, along with all our other usual uh, performances that we have from the community here. Uh, a little bit about the Westpac Film Awards. Awards. The jury this year is comprises of Australian and Indian filmmakers and journalists and people who are respected in the um, industry. So we have in the jury Paul Island, who's a Victorian director who made his new film Pollo that has been a huge success and a really good example of what multicultural Australia is all about. Simi Gerewal, who's on our advisory board, a great friend of the festival who needs no introduction. Um, Sue Maslin, who's a real power to reckon with, who is extremely inspirational because she's the uh, producer of Dressmaker, which is one of the highest grossing Australian films this year. Andrew Anastasius, who's the writer of What a Divider, which was directed and um, acted by Russell Crowe. Jill Wilcock, who again has a lot of love for India. She's an Oscar-nominated editor. She's edited films like Moulin Rouge and others. And um, she's also working with Shekhar Kapoor on Pani right now. And of course, uh, one of India's leading and most respected entertainment editors, Rajiv Masan. So the IFM um, Award nominees for 2016 are, uh, and I'm sure you all would be knowing, uh, Ranveer Singh for Bajirao Mastani, Manoj Bajpai for Aligarh, uh, Shah Rukh Khan for Fan, and Nawazuddin Siddiqui for Raman Raga. The uh, nominees for Best Actress are Sonam Kapoor for Nisha, Deepika Padukone for Bajirao Mastani, Radhika Apte for Paj, and uh, Ritu Porno Singh Gupta for the Bengali film Raj Kahin. The <coughs> Awards nominees for the Best Director are Ram Madhwani for Nisha, Shagun Batra for Kapoor and Sons, Nina Yadav for Pajd, Ram Reddy for uh, the Kannada film Tikki, Sanjay Leela Bansali for Bajirao Mastani. The nominees for the best film are Nisha, Kapoor and Sons, Bajirao Mastani, and Raman Raga. The uh, IFM Award nominees for the best indie film are Pajd, which is in Hindi and English, Tikki, which is in Kannada, Otal, which is in Malayalam, uh, Kothanodi, which is in Assamese, and Angry Indian Goddesses, which is again in Hindi and English. On 12th of August, oh sorry, on 13th of August, we have the flag hoisting at Federation Square. The chief guest to the festival this year is the veteran actor Rishi Kapoor, 
who as a known name for all of us, he's blue blood of Bollywood. Um, his father, grandfather's son, everybody is in the film industry. He's the actor, producer, director, and uh, great entertainer all around. I'm actually really looking forward to the press conference because he's so wonderfully outspoken that uh, I think the media especially is going to have a lot of fun. Um, so Mr. Kapoor is going to be hoisting the flag on 13th of August at Federation Square. This is followed by our Telstra Bollywood Dance Competition, which is again a hugely popular event. Last year, Telstra got over 10,000 numbers, SMS numbers, so that just gives us an indication of the staggering um, attendances that we have there. And um, the judges for this uh, dance competition will be Richa Chatta, a Bollywood actress, Shakun Batra, who's the director of Kapoor and Sons and Ek May Aur Ek Tu, and Malaika Arora Khan. On the 13th of August, we also have a panel discussion which will be chaired by Rajiv Masan, which is about why women in cinema, which will be attended by Australian and Indian filmmakers and actors about what are the issues that women face in cinema, not just the difference and disparity in wages, but also the kind of roles that are written for women. Why is that? Why don't we have more women directors? Why don't we have more women editors? Why does the career of a woman actor have such a strong expiry date, which is pretty much a marriage? So um, things like that will be discussed. And also the biggest problem, which is the uh, stereotyping and the um, way women are often treated as commodities on screen and how that kind of has greater impact. Um, we also have one of the most feisty and my personal favorite actresses, Richa Chadda, who will be talking in, uh, 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 in a masterclass about Bollywood and body posit positivity. Um, it's, a, it's no known, it's a known, sorry, it's a very well kept secret in the film industry about body image and the kind of bodies that Indian film actresses need to have. I mean, we always focus about focus on the Hollywood actresses and their size zero and so on, but that is very prevalent in our industry as well. And how there's a lot of pressure on the girls to be size zero, uh, they need to have certain sex appeal, otherwise they are not cast. And the, all the requirements are very, um, uh, are, are written by men. So obviously they have a very odd and unrealistic definition. So Richard Chadda has been very vocal about uh, body, body positivity and the impact that it has. And she's going to be speaking in this masterclass about that. <laughs> on August 14th, we also have a, a panel discussion on arts and realities, where we have invited some of the uh, people from the community who are doing great work with all kind, all the domestic violence and crimes against women that we have within our community and how that translates into screen and how art reflects reality and reality reflects art. So that is the core theme of this discussion. Um, we also have a wonderful in conversation with Rajiv Masand and Rishi Kapoor. I would, uh, and Neetu Kapoor will also be joining us in that. So I would um, heavily recommend all fans to be there because Rishi Kapoor is going to speak about his childhood, his relationship with his father, his um, struggling days, uh, his the journey that he has had, how he has seen the definition of romance change in this big journey and career span of his. On um, 15th August, we have the uh, Australian premiere of the Bengali film Raj Kahani. It's quite uh, telling that this film is premiering in Australia on 15th August because Raj Kahani is based on a true story. It's about a brothel which was in the border of India and Bangladesh just during partition. So the whole story about is about how these women come together and support each other in one of the darkest periods of India and Pakistan's history. So, um, and the director Srijit Mukherjee and the leading actress Ritu Pondosad Sen Gupta, who's also the national award winning actress, will be present uh, to introduce and do a Q&A on the film. Um, on the 19th of August, we have the <coughs> Australian premiere of A Kalvela, which stars our beautiful brand ambassador Vidya Balan. A Kalvela is a biopic on one of India's uh, big comedians, Bhagwan Dada, Bhagwan Dada, and uh, Vidya is starring in it. Vidya will of course introduce the film and also talk about her role in the film. So please don't miss that. Uh, in the festival, we have always believed in 
the spirit of inclusion, the spirit of community, and a lot of things that we do as a film festival <coughs> is targeted towards that because all of us, our whole team here, and even our partners and sponsors, we are all very committed to that spirit. With that in mind, we have, um, there are three things that we are doing this year. The first and foremost is we are launching the Indian Film Festival's Charity Initiative, which is a Train the Trainers program that the festival will support. So the festival will support for educators and trainers to go to India and work with children with special, work with teachers who teach and work with children with special needs. We are very lucky because we are partnering with La Trobe University uh, for the first, for the next three years and they will be uh, sending their educators and their um, teachers to go into Delhi and Bombay and work with teachers who work with special needs children as that is a hugely neglected area in India. So that is going to be launched on 19th August by Vidya, Vidya Balam um, at La Trobe University. In the evening, once again, we have Royal Children's Hospital as our charity partner. We are doing a fundraising session for Royal Children's Hospital. All the, all the, whatever we raise from that session will go to Royal Children's Hospital Foundation. Um, a very special announcement that we have is that on 19th August, we have, we have the world premiere of this wonderful documentary called Moving Bodies, Moving Boundaries that is made, that is made by Indian National Award winning director Onir. Onir has partnered with one of Victorian directors called Don Percy, who incidentally was also one of the winners of the Western Union short film competition. And they have made this beautiful moving documentary about children and young adults with Down syndrome. Last year, the World Down Syndrome Day was in India, in Madras, and almost 60 adults and children went to India and performed at the Taj Mahal and at the Down, at Down, World Down Syndrome uh, Congression. So this documentary traces that journey and also the friendships that they made with their Indian counterparts. That um, film is going to be premiered um, at our festival on the 19th of August and will be presented by our beautiful Vidya. And on the 20th August, we have two very, very special films that are going to be screening. The first film is The Hidden Truth, which is being made in Melbourne by our Melbourne community, Melbourne actors, some of whom are sitting here, and produced by Prakash, who is also sitting here, and uh, we'll be screening The Hidden Truth. And the second film will be the world premiere of another wonderful Melbourne film made again by one of our community members, Girish, who's sitting here, and it's called The Color of Darkness. So both these films have been made by us, for us, so I would encourage all of us to definitely come and watch them. Our closing night film is the film Angry Indian Goddesses, which has been the toast of much, a lot of the festival circuit here. And uh, we'll have uh, some of the cast, not all seven girls, but two of them, who will be in attendance at the closing night. And uh, now just a few highlights of the festival. Very happy because this is my fangirl moment um, that we have a master's throw session with Shami Nobeb Chinoy, who is, as you know, the amazing uh, Pakistani documentary uh, maker who won the Oscar in 2013 for Saving Face. She won the Oscar again this year for her film, A Girl in the River. So we have a Victorian premiere of Girl in the River at the documentary and we, at the festival. And we'll also be screening all three documentaries in the Master Stroke section. Uh, we also have three of Rishi Kapoor's most loved films, Girls, Bobby and Rafi Chakkar, which will be screening in the Master Stroke section. Some of our film highlights are all, we have over 50 films in 17 different languages, not only from India, but also from the subcontinent, as you know. I'm particularly excited about um, celebrating the 103rd birth anniversary of the renowned writer Manto. Manto, as we know, is always claimed by both India and Pakistan. And uh, very happy that we'll be showing his biopic, Manto, and also a se selection of short stories by him called Manto Stan. So please don't miss that. Um, our short Western Union short film competition has been going on as always, and uh, the theme has been women empowerment. We have had a staggering 571 entries last wow. checked. Yeah, even more now. Even more now, okay. So 571, so we have a tough time selecting. Um, but 
you will be seeing the winning shots at the festival. Um, just to quickly take you through some of the guests who are coming down at the festival are Rishi Kapoor, Vidya Balan, uh, Punjabi superstar Ramjinder Gill, um, acclaimed uh, female director Neena Yadhav, the it girl of art house cinema Radhika Yadhav, entertainment editor Rajiv Masan, Pakistani singer uh, Sarah Heather, um, Richa Chadda, who is making waves with how spoken is, national award winning actress Ritu Porno Sen Gupta, national award winning director Srijit Mukherjee, Shalmani Kolpade, who will be singing at our empowerment concert at the Westpac Film Awards night, uh, the beautiful Malaika Rora Khan, Shagun Batra, and Anushka Manchanda. We have another big announcement with a few more names which we will be making on 10th of July and that will be done through our uh, mail outs and social media so do watch out for that. Um, all tickets will be going on sale on June 30th and uh, you can just go to our website ifum.com.au for, uh, for any uh, for details on that. I have another uh, thing that I must say especially to all our media here um, as uh, urged and requested and blackmailed and pressurized by uh, some of our community media that uh, a lot of the time during the press conferences goes in a uh, lot of random conversations. So it has been very strongly suggested that we should have media accreditation, which is what we are going to do now this year. So the forms and everything are on our website. It's a very straightforward, simple process. All you have to do is fill that form and put in your website link, what are the stories that you have done in the, at least two stories that you've done in the past, and uh, send your pictures. We'll make cards for it and send it across to you. What that does, it gives you access to everything except the special events, which is the opening night and awards night and so on. But at least you can get to, you can come to the press conference, you can go and watch any film that you want, so you can really enjoy um, and make full use of the festival. But I would urge you not to keep it till the last moment and um, then get annoyed with my team, but just please go and fill it <laughs> as soon as possible. Um, our website, as you know, is ifm.com.au. Uh, so I hope it's in your favorites page already. And um, uh, we are on pretty much all the platforms that exist. Half of them, I don't even know what they do, but we are there. Uh, so these are all our platforms. And if you want to follow us, or tag us, or like us, or hate us, or write any comments, this is where you need to go, so we know what you're writing. And of course, uh, 10, on 10th July, we'll have a second but smaller list of announcements that we will be making. So that's uh, pretty much it from me. But um, before I, uh, before we all take some questions, I just want to say a big thank you to all our sponsors and partners because as we all know, festivals are a labor of love and we couldn't have, we can't really do it until and unless we have really committed partners. And I think the festival has been very lucky because we have had partners who've been with us right from the start and who take ownership of the festival, which I love. And first and foremost, of course, Film Victoria. Um, new, uh, this year we are so happy to welcome Westpac, um, Telstra, who we do this amazing dance competition with, of course, OX, uh, who drive completely mad because my countrymen never sit according to the seat numbers, but uh, <laughs> they still come back every year and as supportive as ever. Um, La Trobe University, with whom we have taken the relationship to another level because we have partnered with them on our charity initiative. Western Union, who've been with us right from the start. Um, Singapore Airlines, lovely to have you back. Uh, Dandenong Council, Dizzy, Victory Metals, Yara Trans, Awan Card, Triple R, South Asian Times, South Asia Times, Filming, Good Day India, Radio Hanji, and Royal Children's Hospital Foundation. Thank you all so much for coming here. I'm sure your years must be falling off. <laughs>